today we are going to do a speed draw mostly because I have been fighting some sort of cold for the past few days so I really didn't have like a ton of energy to do like a gigantic production unfortunately so since I'm continuing on with my my cursed pinups for my book that I'm working on I just figured I would do kind of like a quick speed draw show you all of the ones that I've been working on and also take more requests if you got them but yeah basically we're just gonna go through these kind of quick so you can see what I'm doing um, they're pretty fun to think of and explore their design and how to turn like either a very not like a very basic design or something into something kind of like sassy and funny and cute and sexy like all at the same time some of them turn out a little more like cursed than others some lean more towards cute um, for example like these Teletubbies it's harder to make them super well I don't know if I'd say it's harder to make them cursed I could make them really cursed I just don't know if I I, I like making them kind of cute too like cute kind of pinups so some of them are just more cute than cursed and some are more cursed than cute. But basically my whole prompt for this book was that every time you turn the page, you just don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> so to get into it, for the Teletubbies, I really just kind of worked through a bunch of pinup poses. I get asked a lot where I get my poses from. I literally just reference old pinup artists from like the 50s and 60s, I just take their poses. <laughs> George Petty is one of my favorites and Enoch Bowles is also one of my favorites. And I'm sure if you end up looking through some of their illustrations, you'll probably be like, oh, that pose looks familiar because I essentially just was like, that's a good pose and I use it in my designs. When working in series like these, where I have a lot of illustrations that I plan on kind of lumping together as part of like a series, I like to work within a palette. So you can see I have a set palette that I kind of pick my colors from. And I feel like that helps keep all of the illustrations very unified so that when you're flipping through, they all look like they're kind of in the same universe. They're all kind of you know, using the same colors. The purple in one illustration is gonna be the same purple in another illustration. Um, I think it just helps keep everything cohesive and concise. But this is also recommended when working on basically anything that has like a universe in it. So your own characters in a story or like a bunch of characters in a lineup, they should kind of have similar colors like if one character has green on their jacket and another character has green hair usually you know obviously there's exceptions but usually it's good to have them have the same color green because it keeps everybody unified and it also helps keep everybody in the same world and believable that they're all in the same universe
This Crocs one was really, really fun to design, actually. I had to kind of think out of the box and figure out how would I make like a Crocs themed outfit. I knew out the gate I wanted her to have platform Crocs, but I didn't know exactly how else I wanted things to look. So I ended up giving her like straps that looked like the straps on the Crocs and then kind of like a mini dress, like mini skirt with like the Croc holes in it and then the Crocs top part as like the cups and then I gave her like a little croc hair thing <laughs> um, but yeah this one was really fun to design I had a lot of fun doing this one and it actually turned out really cute in my opinion I don't think that this one actually is that cursed it's just very cute but a lot of people have extreme feelings on crocs so I felt like it was still appropriate for my book The tattoos all over her body are actually the little gibbets, I think they're called, like the little things that you put into the croc holes. I just found like a bunch of weird ones and literally just pasted them in here and put them on, I think like color burn as her tattoos and just warped them to fit the body. <laughs> but yeah, there's some funny ones like uh, one on her arm that says anti-croc croc club and like an alien one and like a flame one. But yeah, it was kind of fun trying to find weird gibbets to use as tattoos. <laughs> Next one is the Michelin Man logo. <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought it would be funny to do. The Michelin Man is made up of tires. The reason why he's white, sorry, my dog's coughing in the background. The reason why he's white is because tires used to be white back in like whenever Michelin was created. But I just thought her outfit would be this weird, like, <laughs> I don't know, like rubber, like tube outfit. That kind of is like reminiscent of the Michelin Man because he's just kind of like these weird tubes. So that's what she is, except I decided to name her the Michelin Man, kind of. Get it? Because Michelin, Michelin. It's like the girl. Anyway. <laughs> then, as we progress through and they get slowly more cursed, <laughs> how can we forget Shrek? I mean, Shrek is a staple. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. So... I had to do a cutie with a booty Shrek pinup girl. <laughs> Next on our list is <laughs> Nigel Thornberry. Because <laughs> why not? I hope these are just keeping you guessing. <laughs> I apologize also for not having some more clips of me like actually drawing them. Some of these I did with not planning on putting it into a video, so it's just screen recorded. And others, I was just not feeling well for the past few days, so I just didn't have a lot of energy. And so I just drew a lot of these like on the couch. <laughs> My initial plan with Nigel, I was really debating between just giving her a full mustache or doing like a braid with a bow to like simulate it. But I ended up just doing the mustache in the end because it's iconic. <laughs> 
And as we progress further through this, the next one is going to be even more cursed. Can you guess what it is yet? I'll give you a hint. Misa thinks <laughs> she's very sexy. <laughs> That's right. It's Jar Jar Binks. Or as some people in my comments were saying, Jar Jar Minx. <laughs> this is a pinup Jar Jar. And I don't have much else to say other than... Yep. <laughs> uh, I tied her ears back with little bows. And lastly, this one's kind of, I don't know if this one's niche or not. It really seems like if you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't, you should probably go watch this movie. It's a weird movie, but before the Super Mario movie came out, like the one that I think is probably currently in theaters, at least currently in theaters right now, there was a Super Mario movie that came out in 1993 that is just like, it's a live action fever dream of a movie. It's so weird, super bizarre. Like the characters are named Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. <laughs> and they go after Daisy, not Peach, Daisy. And they get sucked inside of the earth because the lore is that there are people who evolved from mammals, but then also people who evolved from lizards. And so... The lizard people live inside of the earth and Mario and Luigi have to save Daisy from these lizard people. It's weird. Anyway, these characters are the Goombas. Yes, these Goombas are those guys. I don't know why, it's just the way that the movie was and I felt like this would make an excellent cursed piece. <laughs> So after doing this whole thing, I realized that her head was just too big. I was hoping that maybe I could give her a normal size head and then balance out the proportions and make her head look smaller than it is with really, really big shoulder pads. But it just wasn't really translating the way that I wanted it to. It just looked like she was a normal person with big shoulder pads. Well. I mean, normal lizard person, I guess. 
So I ended up having to shrink her head like two times and then I redrew it because I just felt like she needed a really tiny head. <laughs> so I just basically ended up redrawing the head because when I shrunk it down the details were just too small and I was like you could kind of tell I just took the bigger image and shrunk it so I redrew the head and tried to salvage what I could with coloring but it ended up not working and I just recolored the head and with all that said and done let's take a peek at the final images one's your favorite? Do you have any characters that you recommend for me to do next? Let me know down below. And that's it for the show. I'm gonna rhyme that. All right. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>